People can no longer smoke on public housing properties in the county or the country nationwide. The ban takes effect today. However, that same ban has been in place for near years here in Fort Wayne. Fox 55's Cody Butler is live with more on that. Cody. Fort Wayne has had smoking bans that have been some of the most strict in the area for several years. The Fort Wayne Housing Authority is no exception. Back in 2013, it banned smoking on all of its properties, including here at the North Highland Apartments on St. Mary's Avenue. It's a move many people who rely on these housing and programs appreciate. I'm in complete approval of it. No smoking signs will be in place at all 3,300 housing authorities in the United States. Sorry anybody that smokes, but uh, uh, I don't care to have people smoking around me. Smoking has caused many health problems for those close to Brenna Maddox. My parents smoked when I was young and my husband smoked and I have the after effects of it. Brenda lives in the Whispering Oaks apartments on the city's southeast side, which is owned and operated by the Fort Wayne Housing Authority. She says not many of her neighbors smoke, but is glad those who do have to get 25 feet off the property. Most everybody here has commented on they like the idea of no smoking. The Department of Housing and Urban Development announced the new policy two years ago, but gave everyone time to comply. That's time the Fort Wayne Housing Authority didn't need because there's been a smoking ban here for about five years. Well, we wanted to make sure that we were ahead um, because we knew that there was going to be some things that had to be corrected. FWHA Executive Director George Guy says the smoking ban has actually saved the agency money. Obviously, it's safer, uh, less fires in terms of that, in terms of smoke related. Now, improvements can be made, such as putting fitness centers in some of the high-rise apartments. We took advantage of this by saying that there was an opportunity for us to do more. Um, in terms of opportunities for wellness for our residents. Something people across the country might enjoy. It is a, a good move for the country itself because none of us like the smoking. Now the smoking ban will be a part of leases at housing authorities across the country, which means that you could be evicted for violating these rules. Oliver Hud says just one violation shouldn't be enough to get someone evicted. Reporting live, Cody Butler, Fox 55 News.